But certainly the key issue about stamp duty is that it discourages people from moving, not just first time buyer can't afford often to borrow to pay the tax, but older people, people in bigger properties who want to move down, often it's difficult to sell those bigger, more expensive properties because of the very high stamp duty tax on that. So basically in the mortgage market or in the property market, there is a need to have a lot more supply. There's a need to make it easier for people to afford deposits or get access to high mortgages in terms of high loan to value mortgages. But at the same time, the government, whilst it often intervenes by tweaking taxes or intervenes through help to buy, could actually make life a lot simpler for everyone by deciding that the tax that everyone has identified as not being the most appropriate tax is either reduced significantly or ideally eliminated and particularly eliminated at lower value properties. And that's the stamp duty tax. The equitable issue that you come to, that needs to be addressed in other areas. But for the moment, if one looks about the whole challenge in the property market, one of the issues that could allow it to be addressed, at least partially, is eradicating or eliminating or reducing stamp duty. Certainly take your points in terms of the implications of the stamp duty for the housing market and, and people within it. But if I think about the stamp duty in the context of broader government policy, right now we're all talking about Rishi Sunak soon raising taxes. And if we are talking about that debate, isn't the stamp duty a, a relatively attractive way to raise taxes? I mean, is it really meaningful to be talking about stamp duty cuts if we're talking about raising taxes elsewhere as a way out of this pandemic and to pay for what's been offered so far? Right, two issues here. One is the overall budget judgment, and then second, some of the policies that you take. The overall budget judgment tomorrow is still likely to be one where the government will decide that the best way is to continue to borrow and to borrow very cheaply. What we don't need is to squeeze the economy with premature tax increases or to actually stop the necessary infrastructure spending, which is very affordable, from going ahead. So therefore, in the budget tomorrow, I think what the Chancellor is going to be saying is that he doesn't want to tighten fiscal policy yet, but there are going to be, as you've touched on, some taxes that, in his view, need to be raised. Now, the challenge with taxes is that, as we've seen from experience in the UK and globally, when you cut some taxes, that can boost revenues. When you raise some taxes, that can actually dent economic activity and dent revenues. Now, stamp duty itself is a tax on turnover, therefore transactions. So it's one of those taxes that you don't really want to be raising if you're trying to encourage greater activity in the property mortgage sector. 